Hey guys, it's me Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. It feels like I haven't recorded a video in a very long time because like whenever I'm in the mood to make videos, I make a video but it didn't just sit on my computer until I get the motivation to upload it, which is not really a lot of the time. But I'm trying to be like, yo, I need to get YouTube videos done so people won't think I ghosted you. <laughs> for centuries so um this video well the speed paint rather i actually recorded it about two months ago and i wanted to make it its own video but the audio for it i really don't like so i just kind of sat on it and then today it just kind of clicked to me that i can actually use that speed paint as a motivation topic for my sketchbook motivation series. So, um, if you guys are not following my sketchbook motivation series, I understand why, because it's taken me a century to do all of these videos, but I'm going to backtrack, guys, so I can give you the correct order, you know, in which I uploaded them. So, number one was redrawing your old art. Redrawing your old art is a very good way to kind of motivate yourself to get into drawing again because it visibly shows you guys that you are improving you kind of don't need people to tell you oh you improved you improved you improved when you yourself are like I don't see what you see, but when you redraw your artwork, you're like, wow, I really did improve, you know? So that's a really good little tip there. The second part is actually fan art, doing fan art. Fan art is actually a good way to kind of get motivated in your sketchbook because who doesn't like to draw their favorite husbando and waifus all over their sketchbooks? I am like, yes, to that idea because I swear I've been drawing a lot of busty ladies and I'm like not sorry about it and the latest part which I uploaded two months ago is actually using pictures as inspiration and pretty much I took a scene from the drama semantic error which I finished watching around that time and I just had to draw that because I'm still in love with semantic error my series is gonna be like five points um, because I really don't want to like make this too long where people are like not where we get it so, for tip number four, originally it was draw draw your characters in different poses and outfits that'll help you get motivated, but I feel like that wouldn't motivate me enough, and I really want to make this personal to me. I'm kind of like in an art funk right now, where one day I want to draw, the next day I don't want to draw, and you know, it sucks, but I am like a stickler to sketchbooks, so I would pick up a sketchbook and stick with this one sketchbook until the end of my life and that's just kind of how I kind of roll with sketchbooks because I feel like if you use more than one sketchbooks it kind of kind of confuses your mind a little bit but I'm like when I started this sketchbook I'm actually not even halfway I'm almost halfway through it um so when I was using the sketchbook I kind of got tired of it that in a sense where I'm like I hate the sketchbook it's kind of like my motivation to keep going in it kind of stopped and then I switched over to a sketchbook I got from my dollar store and this is almost done guys <laughs> I've been in it for almost three months maybe four and it's kind of getting close to there so I feel like having two different sketchbooks actually is a mental breather this sketchbook um i will say that the paper is just that type of paper that doesn't handle anything like it's very like weird and i actually had this type of sketchbook before and so i already knew i couldn't use a lot of things but since i really love mahimi gouache i actually did a drawing which i will happily show you guys of the beautiful iu and i'm like I really want to see how gouache lays on this paper because watercolor sucks. But gouache, you can use it straight out of the tube. But then again, gouache, you kind of have to use water to kind of get it to spread around. Around this time, Gada Dada, which is IU's song that she's featured in with Jay Park, came out. And I literally had that song on repeat every day. I probably played it like five times a day. That song is still a bop, but I kind of slowed my role playing it because I'm pretty sure my family and my friend were like Narelle please stop playing this song and I'm like I'm sorry so I, <laughs> I at least listen to it like one every other week <laughs> 
but it's still a box, so go check out Gada Dada. But that's what inspired me to draw this picture in this sketchbook. And also, I really feel like drawing something new, quote unquote, in a medium that we use, which in my case is a sketchbook, um, and trying to see if something works is a great motivator to actually get in your sketchbook and just kind of explore, because exploring is what we really need to be doing. I'm currently trying to like change, not, I'm not trying to change my style, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to develop a new style, and it's kind of coming together in a way, and I'm just kind of in that experimentation mode where I'm like, I don't care what to put in this, I just want to like art and just have fun so please guys use this motivation series that i'm doing um and just kind of use it to your advantage again this is like for everyone so if my tips that i say in my videos really are not tips that you follow it's okay to each their own you don't have to be a stickler but my videos is what i use um to you know motivate myself to stay in my sketchbook so yeah let's just go ahead and get to the speed paint because i feel like i chatted enough Alrighty guys, so now we're in the speed paint portion of this video. So like my other gouache paintings, I actually draw them with my Crayola erasable colored pencils. Like guys, what is new with me? And then I use my kneaded eraser to kind of lighten up the lead. So at least the lead won't be too much in the paint. Um, given that this paper kind of just is not forgiving with erasing, <laughs> I can only lift up so much. But I kind of didn't hate that because because that red color that I use blended in really well with her skin that is like as wasn't too you know hard for me to kind of accept that the lines were there so um as you can see I'm blending out my base color for the skin and as you can see I just kind of went straight in there with the color because I feel like with my base coloring with gouache I love to just kind of put the color as is where it needs to be and then I'll go over it with white in the areas in which I need to get lighter um but most of the time I do go over the areas areas in white with like three passes because gouache it doesn't dry light <laughs> I think it's a couple of layers to kind of get to where you want to be so you know I was very cautious when I was doing this because again this paper really doesn't handle a lot of water so I'm like you know what let me apply it in the areas in which I do need it to be lighter but um most likely I probably stayed with where it was at yeah I, I had the reference right in front of me but yeah so I did use a lot of white in like some of the areas which you're going to see but um yeet <laughs> but um a lot of people may be like Narelle you do um light to dark light to dark but I kind of realized that dark to light really does work a lot better because light to dark scares me and I'm like no I don't want to have an anxiety attack coloring this picture but I really do like the fact that her skin and turned out really great and I actually did add some pink in her skin to kind of make it cohesive with the lines because I honestly am trying to make my drawings not look too odd in a way where one color is just sitting on its own I kind of really want to interpret the colors where every color can be in every other place so no color is just kind of like the odd one out uh, I feel like that helps drawings kind of come together because you can tell when a color is just kind of used in one area or like why didn't they put it in any other area you know it's not us being mean but it's just kind of like that color is pretty lonely out there <laughs> but um yeah so I always try to strive for that because I am now practicing I'm now you know doing newer things and it's actually just making me happy seeing what i could do with colors that i've never done before so um i pretty much think you know it's always cute to kind of do something new and just see where you know you can go towards if you just kind of branch out from your comfort box and just kind of just try something new for change
Alrighty guys, so now I'm getting into adding the pinks in our skin. I actually wanted to come and talk about it because it literally turned out so cute. I actually did um, this kind of effect in a lot of my other paintings and it turned out so beautiful. So I'm like, please let this work with Miss IU Neem because I really wanted her to live her best pink life and it worked. Ah, Though I do feel like I could have held back in some areas with the pink but you know there's not enough pink in a person's world just like it's not enough glitter in a person's world either so you know I just want to come here and just kind of you know spit my truth and just fangirl a little bit about the pink so you know <laughs> go me <laughs> Alrighty guys, so now we're at the part where I actually start to color her hair. Um, I'm going to admit my truth, I did not fully color this drawing on this video, uh, mainly because it was just taking too long with me coloring her hair, and second of all, I felt like I got enough of my process with me coloring her hair that you guys kind of get how I go about coloring hair, and three, my phone died, so you know, I guess the, my phone died is the best reason to why I didn't finish it, but I feel like I knew when to stop for this video, so I, again, I will have the finished result at the end. So you can see how IU turned out. Um, granted, it's not really something I'm proud of. But I am proud of, of the fact that I dared myself to try something new. Because I knew this paper just did not like water-based medias. But I'm like, forget you paper. I'm going to get you to like this water-based media. And I'm actually patting myself on the back for trying it out. And seeing that it's really not all that bad. So when I come back to the sketchbook, whenever I decide to come and pick it back up I'll try to do more gouache paintings or try to do something else in which will get me to enjoy it a little bit more but for right now um, this sketchbook honestly is, is out of my sight I really don't know where it is half the time uh, my brother cleans my room my room up like legit every other day or every two days and when he cleans it that's when I see it again but I try to kind of hide it away from me so I just won't feel bad for not drawing in it but then again I'm literally almost halfway through it so it's not like I haven't drawn in it it's just that I just need a break from it so yeah so I'm enjoying my second sketchbook legit a lot and I should be finished with it I'm not gonna rush it so it may come out next month or the month after um let's just hope August is not the due date of me finishing it but if it does take to August then I'm perfectly fine with it so I'm just here to speak that trying something new isn't scary for me um I'm always a one I'm always a person that's literally a creature of habit like if it's something that I do all the time I'm good with you but if it's something that I've never done and I don't feel like I'm comfortable enough doing it I would be like no like you're not getting me to do it so I'm like I'm trying to like make myself a creature of less habit and just try something new and I'm enjoying that with the art life in real life you know maybe you gotta convince me a little bit more 
<laughs> but with art, I kind of learned to accept that there are other things in which I can enjoy other than a sketchbook and paper. I'm actually painting on like wood, um, canvases, craft boxes, and I'm like doing like a lot of stuff, and I'm like, bruh, enjoying it. <laughs> um, I'm actually um, motivated to actually try to buy acrylic gouache because I do watch I'm a Wonder. She's amazing. Um, if you guys don't know who she is, then you're living on the rock because I'm a Wonder is legit bae. I love her and she fangirls all the time over acrylic gouache and I'm like, I really want to try it so maybe sometime in the future I will set money aside to just buy some acrylic gouache and just try it out. Granted, I probably will not buy the expensive brand because I really don't want to buy something that's $60 and I end up not liking it at all. So I feel like if I buy a cheaper brand, it will make me feel less at ease and be like, okay, I I feel better about myself because that's how I was with the Himi gouache. I was like, oh my gosh, I wasted this panel of four drawings that I don't even like. I just kind of felt bad, but once I kind of got my groove of the Himi gouache, I'm like, okay, I feel a little bit better. So please guys, step out your comfort boxes and do something new, whether it's you trying out a new medium, whether it's you putting down a sketchbook you've worked in and trying a new one, or whether it's just new that you do in your personal life. I try not to make my videos all about art sometimes because I feel like I just forget sometimes that people have a life rather than coming to YouTube and watching videos. Just try something new in your daily life. Like if you don't go outside as much, go outside and experience nature for what it is. Though I literally could use that point because I'm a hypocrite because I stay inside all the time. So yeah, now I would try to do that more often. So if you're a couch potato, you and me both will go outside and experience all the nature and all that good stuff. So just do something new. <laughs> um, so that's really what I all have to say for this video. Um, I am going to plan to make a new art supply video of my art supplies in which I use most often because it changes, it legit changes. I don't do those videos every year because I'm a creature of habit and I use pretty much the same things but I try to do them every like two years because you can tell my taste changed legit over a long period of time. So if you guys are wanting that let me know down in the comment box below um, and let me know what type of videos you would like to see. If you like to see tutorials let me know. I'm not the best at talking about my processes but I could do the best I can because I forget not everyone who sub to me are like intermediate artists. Um, some people are beginners so if you are beginning in art and you guys are like Narell, I really need, really need your help at this aspect let me know. Um, don't be shy to ask for certain videos. So yeah I think that's it because my video is actually wrapping up so if you like this video give it a like i will see you at the end so why am i closing off this video but um yeah i generally will hope um that you guys get something out of this for sure So that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like. Um, comment whatever you like to say to me in my comment box below. Um, again, I really haven't picked the sketchbook up at all since I drew, drew that picture. But I think I drew a couple of pictures after it. Yeah, I did. I drew a couple of pictures after it, but I, but after that, I just didn't pick up the sketchbook. I think the last time I used the sketchbook was like two to three months ago, so um, my love for this has not returned. So when it does return, most definitely I will finish this up. But for right now, um, this is my main one that I got from my dollar store. So I cannot wait to show you guys this sketchbook. I'm like legit excited to show you guys this sketchbook because this sketchbook is where I experimented a lot um but um if you guys want to know where the stickers came from so the stickers on this so these two stickers of Todoroki and Bakugo came from my friend Harushin she changed her name to Darwin Rose Studios so that's where I got these from um I think I bought them about two to three years ago so I don't know if they're still available in her shop but if they are you'll find them and this is my sticker of Maka 
and which you can get in my Soul Eater sticker pack. Um, so in this sketchbook, um, this is another sticker from my friend Hadu or Darwin as she rebranded. And these two are my stickers. So that's uh, my Cat Boyos. And here is Ari, who's a Patreon reward for the month of October. So yeah, so those are all the stickers in case you guys wanted to know who the stickers were. Um, but yeah, so that is it for the self promo for my friend self self promo and yeah i gotta go so yeah so if you enjoyed this video like i say give it a like and i will see you guys um in my next video whatever that may be and yeah so yeah bye and oh i can drive now i don't think i uploaded the vlog where i said i got my driver's license which is a lot which is a vlog way ahead of your time. So if you're wondering what these are, it's my car keys. So yeah, I did get my license. Your girl is legal to drive. So yeah, so be happy for me in the comment box below. So yeah, bye. <laughs>